Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of January, so stay tuned. So there wasn't very much going on in the month of January, uh, which is great because I did have a lot that I purchased in the previous month, so it was kind of nice getting a break. But we did have some really good releases this month, so let me just show you what I picked up. Uh, first up, we got Terminator Dark Fate. Still haven't had a chance to watch this one. Hopefully I'll get around to watching this one this weekend. Um, I got Zombieland Double Tap. I still need to see this one. Um, really looking forward to that. Also, I got um, the Target exclusive um, Joker with this nice slip cover. And I also got the Joker Steelbook from Best Buy. Still need to check that one out. And I got um, Will Smith and the Gemini Man. Um, need to check that one out. And then from Shout Factory, I got a few titles. I got um, Deathstalker and Deathstalker 2 um, Double Pack. I've got Depraved. Trespassers. Um, just recently got My Bloody Valentine. This will release in um, February. I um, got it early. I did get this one with the um, a second slip cover and also with a poster, um, with both posters. So very nice to have that one in my collection. And I also got the um, the Slumber Party Massacre still book. Now I'm thinking about, so currently all of my still books for um, um, Shout Factory are still sealed up. I just never had a chance. I just never taken the chance to open those up, but I'm thinking about maybe opening all of them and doing some unboxing videos. Uh, so leave me a comment below if you think you'd be interested in seeing any of those. But I really do like the artwork on some of these still books. Um, so very happy to have that one in my collection. Okay, next up I'm going to show you a few Disney pickups. I got um, the Jungle Book 4K still book from um, Best Buy. Really enjoy this movie. Um, nice to have another good still book for it. And then on eBay I got the Tron um, Classic and the Tron Legacy um, 3D version double pack with a nice lenticular slip cover. Um, I own both of these movies already uh, but I did not have this, um, it's, um, this double pack so happy to have that one. And then I got the uh, Maleficent 4K release. And also um, Maleficent Mistress of Evil 4K release with the Target exclusive and also the um, Best Buy Steelbook. So I did watch this one I believe last weekend or the weekend before last. Pretty good movie. It's you know it's not the best movie in the world but I thought it was very um, well done and really enjoyed it. Okay some other good pickups that I've got I picked up um, The Lighthouse, which is just a Blu-ray release. I'm not really sure why they decided not to do a 4K release for this. Uh, maybe they'll do that in the future, um, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it, so I am looking forward to checking that one out. And then I picked up um, The Man Who Killed um, Don Quixote. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. never saw it. Actually, I ordered this back around Black Friday back in um, November and just recently got this one in the mail it was on back order and then I got the Chernobyl um, blu-ray release heard a lot of good things about this um, series so looking forward to checking this one out I picked up Judy with this nice slip cover um, good boys I got this for $11.99 so I definitely wanted to pick that one up I got Nicholas, um, Nicholas Cage and Primal, and also Ethan Hawke in Adopt a Highway. So um, I've heard some good things about this one. Um, it doesn't get very good reviews, um, but I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. And then a few more items I got. I got um, Universal Soldier. This is a Zavi um, UK exclusive still book. It is Region B. Um, but I really liked um, the artwork on this one. Really enjoyed that movie. And also I got the Zavi exclusive um, Running Man. Now this is another Region B um, Zavi UK still book. Really nicely done um, still book. Um, 
And I also got the um, US release on just Blu-ray. And then I got the House by the Cemetery. Um, got that off of Amazon last week. Um, it finally arrived. I really like this. Never seen this movie before. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It does have a nice um, slip cover. And then lastly, I got a really good deal on Steven Spielberg's um, Director's Collection. Um, this is a nice box set. So very happy to have this one. So like I said, it was a very slow month um, in January, thank goodness. Um, hopefully February will be a little bit slower also, just so I can catch a breath and not have to um, purchase so much. But hopefully you were able to get all that you wanted in the month of January. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you picked up any of these particular releases and what you thought of them. Let me know what you think about the ones that I did pick up. Um, which ones you would suggest that I would check out first. Um, I really do enjoy reading your comments. And I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. So since it was a slow month, um, I have been working on a little bit of um, catching up on some of my collections. Um, I have been sell selling a lot of my Funko Pops and some of the money that I've been making off of that. I've been um, buying some items to complete my, um, uh, my Academy Award um, collection. So I did pick all of these up um, during the month of January. Got some really good deals on these. Um, so very happy to have these. Also, um, there was another Academy Award type collection and I, I was able to add all of these to the collection um, off of eBay, off of Amazon. Um, so very happy to have um, more of these added to my collection. I'm currently working on completing some of my Universal 100 um, collections and the Best of the Decades collections. So usually I just get on um, eBay and see if I can find a really good deal. Um, and I've been pretty lucky so far, so I'm very happy to um, add some of these to my collection. So also during the month of January, I've been able to go to the movies and see a lot of the um, Oscar-nominated movies for this year. Um, I've seen all of the Best Picture nominations except for Joker and um, Ford vs. Ferrari. Those are the only two out of the Best Picture category that I haven't seen. So out of all of the um, Best Picture nominations, um, I would probably pick Parasite and then 1917. Those are the two movies that I think I enjoy the most. Um, like I said, I have not seen Ford vs. Ferrari and I have not seen Joker yet. Hopefully I'll be able to see Joker this weekend. I really would like to see that one um, in the theater. But if there's none playing in my area, I, probably, I will probably just watch it on Blu-ray. Um, if you've seen any of the Best Picture nominations, which ones are your favorite? And which one do you hope wins Best Picture this year? If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram, so you can find me there. And we will see you next time.